Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to DC Universe Online. I am of course Trex and today's weapon overview we're going to be looking at brawling. It's if you want to feel like Superman you just use brawling. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Uh, brawling is definitely a, ver a very hard hitting, slow hitting uh, melee type weapon that you can use. So we're going to take a look at the combos and also the stats that come with it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First up is the Brawling Weapon Proficiency. It gives you five, plus 5 Restoration. So this comes with multiple abilities as the proficiency does. The first one is Lunging Right. This is going to uh, be an interrupt and but it's also vulnerable to block. Uh, it's just, This is basically your lunge. You're going to hold the melee button to do it. Next is going to be Stomp Smash, which is going to be a block breaker, but it's also vulnerable to interrupt. This is your long range ability that you're just going to, so to do it, you hold the range button. Next in this tier 2 section is Ground Pound. This is an interrupt, but it's also vulnerable to block. So to do this ability, you're going to hold the melee button twice. So you hold melee and then hold melee again to do it. It's just basically you're stomping your foot on the ground. Next is called Double Fist. This gives you uh, plus 24 to your health. To do this ability, you're going to do the combo of tap melee and then hold melee. It's a nice little double axe handle if you're a wrestling fan. And once you put a point in the Double Fist, you will unlock Back Fist. To do Back, uh, back Fist is an interrupt but it's also vulnerable to block. You're going to see that a lot of the abilities in Brawling are vulnerable to block when you're doing the combos. Uh, it doesn't really have a very strong range uh, range combos, but that's okay because Brawling is supposed to be melee. So, Back Fist, as I gave a little back history. Haha, <laughs> backs. So, with Back Fist, you're going to do this combo. You're going to tap melee and then hold melee twice. Next down the tree in tier 3 is Hammer Fist. Once again, another interrupt, but it's also vulnerable to block, and you get plus 5 restoration. To do this ability, you're going to tap melee twice, and then hold melee for the third. Un uh, putting the point in Hammer Fist will unlock Punt. To do this, once again, interrupt and vulnerable to block. The combo, com uh, the combo to do this will be tap melee twice, and then hold melee twice. Next in tier 4 is Launching Uppercut, giving you plus 10 precision. To do this combo, you're going to tap melee 3 times, and then hold melee. And then finally for, tier, for the tier 5 combo, you're going to unlock Haymaker. So to do this ability, you're going to tap melee 3 times, and then hold melee twice. So let's go ahead and switch gears and go down here to the Weapon Mastery combos, which to do Weapon Mastery, uh, the Weapon Mastery combos for Brawling will tie into Two-Handed, and then it will also go into mat, uh, Martial Arts as well. So to do these abilities, Doom Spin Mastery, again, you have to have 21 points in the, uh, in the Brawling Tree, which you have to unlock the Brawling Mastery, and to do so, you have to get 20 points in Brawling, the Brawling Proficiency, Backfist, and Haymaker. So once you have those and you come down here to and you go to the two-handed tree and the weapon and the martial arts tree to get weapon mastery. So first one is Doom Spin. You have to have Brawling Mastery, have to have two-handed mastery, and you have to have Doom Spin from the two-handed tree. This combo, you will tap melee once and then hold melee three times. The next one is home run mastery. It requires both Brawling and Two-Handed Mastery, and requires Home Run from a Two-Handed Tree. To do this combo, you will tap Melee three times, and then hold, rate, uh, then hold Melee three times. Next is going to be Martial Arts. So you'll need a Brawling uh, and a Martial Arts Mastery, and you will need to unlock Shuriken Storm within the Martial Arts Tree. To do this combo, this actually gives you a variety going into... Uh, more for your ranged abilities, uh, for your ranged combos. So to do this, you're going to tap melee or tap range, and then hold range. And that's and then next you're going to have uh, is the enhanced Shuriken Storm, which Brawling and Martial Arts Mastery must be unlocked, and you have to have a point in enhanced Shuriken. So to do this uh, combo, you just hold range 
twice. So those are your uh, combos in the Brawling Tree. Let's take a look at what your stats are going to get. So for your Tier 1 stats, you'll get Critical Attack Damage. You'll get Dominance slash Power Heal Crit. Health. Critical Healing Chance. And then coming into Tier 2, you'll have Might. Vitalization. Power. And Restoration. And then down here at your uh, in your Tier 3 stats, which... For to un the, again to unlock the tier three stats, you just have to have twenty one points in brawling. You do not have to unlock weapon mastery, the weapon mastery uh, skill up there. You do not have to unlock it to get to the tier three stats. You just have to have twenty one points in brawling. So these stats include might and precision, power and vitalization, health and dominance, and restoration. So I hope you guys enjoyed the brawling video. And uh, I'll be continuing on down the actual alphabetical list for the weapon trees as time goes on. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.